Okay guys, today I have a video here on my Droid Razer HD and uh, I haven't done much on this lately but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to root this device on the newest OTA. Um, so let's just go into it and go over some prerequisites and show you what we're running here. So what you're gonna wanna do is come into your settings, go to about phone, and what this video is gonna show you how to do is how to root two different APA OTAs. They're both the two newest. So the real newest is this one, which is this system version right here of 9.20.1 and that's on the XT926 which is the Vanquish or the Verizon version of the Droid Razor HD. The other version it will do is the 9.18.79 that's the other system version that this process should root either version for you. Um, so there you go. So that's what we're on here. Uh, first step you're gonna do is if you don't have this options right here for developer options go in here and find your build number and then just keep tapping on it and it should enable developer options after about 10 taps and you'll have developer options once you're in developer options you're gonna go ahead and turn it on okay you're gonna turn on USB debugging okay so once you have USB debugging turned on, you're gonna take your USB cable to your computer and go ahead and just plug it in. And your computer should uh, you know, recognize it and see all that stuff. So you can actually go ahead and go home now and just leave your device here. One thing you will note is you should see this USB debugging plugged in. And you can just leave the device right now. We're gonna to go to the computer, make sure the drivers get installed and we'll show you the tool to go ahead and root this device. So we'll just leave it like this. Okay guys, so basically what we got is uh, this file here, I'll show it to you. It's actually going to be called this right here. Moto Chopper 1.3 XT926 Zip. Um, I extracted it and just named this right here. Uh, so you're going to need that right there. Um, the other thing you're going to need is the Motorola drivers and I will link them for you. It's just an EXE file. You run and it installs the drivers. So that's pretty basic, but like I said, I'll link it for you. So you'll see it in the video description down below. So we're just going to open this up right here. And all you got to do is come down here to this run bat and run this utility. Uh, it's really, really simple. Um, but what I want to show you guys before we do that is just this run uh, SH. Just to get you guys an idea what is actually going to happen here. So basically what they're doing is they have a modified boot image and what's going to happen is it's going to flash that modified boot image which is flash boot boot old boot image it flashes this file then it that gives it the exploit it needs to go ahead and do all the rooting process which is right here and then when it's done it reboots and then again flashes the new boot image the one you're on right now back to the device and reboots and it's done it's pretty simple so uh, basically we're just going to run this and we have the USB drivers installed and we have USB debugging enabled and we're connected via USB so all of our prerequisites are met we're going to go ahead and hit enter and it's just going to make sure that you can see the device here and it can so found device it's putting the phone into AP fastboot mode so just so you guys can see what AP fastboot mode looks like here there we go here you can see we're in fastboot down on the phone um, and actually it's already rebooting here you can see some stuff it's done um, sending boot writing boot rebooting the vice reboots and then it's going to go through the little exploit of actually sending the root files over to the device um, shouldn't take too terribly long here all right so here we go we're sending the files over pretty basic as soon as this is done it's going to reboot the device again okay so it says 
right here to press enter to restore your boot image so it's going to reflash the original one back and there we go here you can see we're in fast boot down on the phone and it's writing boot and it should be sending it and it's rebooting again for the last time and over here on the computer it says root is complete press enter and it exits out so we're done on the computer now let's go over to the device and uh, watch this thing boot up so we are booting up here this is the second reboot on it and the device is fully booted so let's go ahead and uh, unplug our cable and now we want to see if the process actually fully functioned for us so let's go into our app drawer that's just because I don't have a sim don't worry about it so you're not going to have that issue um, let's go into the app drawer like I said and let's scroll over cross our little fingers and look for a super sue there it is right there so we're going to click on it says you need to install the sue binary say continue say normal successful and there you go that is it that's the full process I could download a root checker right here to just show you you have root access but I know when it says that successful installing those new binaries that you do it is functioning a hundred percent that's it that's it pretty simple guys it's about a five minute process really it's really really simple to run this tool and get root access on this uh, droid razor HD with the newest OTA at this point um, which I think, just to double check, you probably saw it in the beginning. It is on Jelly Bean and it's on 4.1.2. So there you go. That's it. That is my video on the Droid Razor HD root process for the newest OTA update. Hope you guys like this. Um, as always, you know, check me out at uh, rootjunkie.com right down there. Got lots of great information on this device and many, many others on that site. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the other side. That's it. Root Junkie out.